Polymers are ubiquitous in our everyday life. Uh, you might think about polymers as large molecules or macromolecules. Uh, you find them in the cars that you drive, the shoes that you walk in, the clothes that you wear, and so they really touch every aspect of our daily life. One of the things that makes the polymer group the most unique is that we have a long history of attention to fundamental research, uh, doing the, uh, the best fundamental research we can possibly do, but paying attention to real-world applications. For example, sustainability and how you might make new polymers that are either biodegradable or even use biofeedstock uh, in a way that can make polymers uh, that, that are useful for our everyday lives. Uh, in healthcare, uh, if we can engineer new materials that can help us deliver drugs with more efficiency or even uh, engineer biomedical devices that function in ways that are never before possible. And of course the last one which is on many people's mind is energy and how do polymers and polymeric materials uh, allow us to either engineer devices or even bring new devices to reality. The efforts here at the University of Minnesota involve nine faculty spanning a variety of areas ranging from physics, chemistry, chemical engineering, and material science to address problems in the design, synthesis, processing, and performance applications of new polymeric materials. Many of our industrial partners come from large petrochemical companies to very small specialty materials and startup companies who interact and use our facilities on a routine basis. One of the best parts of the Minnesota Polymer Group to me is that we collectively advise approximately 100 students and postdocs and numerous undergraduate researchers. It's a joy to interact with students from a variety of countries because their unique perspectives and personal experiences bring new life to the way we think about building materials that will have impact not just locally but globally. Uh, what makes us most proud is the fact that we're really equipping students and postdocs with the skills that they need, whether they're scientific skills and professional skills or both, uh, to go on to be the next generation of leaders. And this is why we get up every morning and why we come to work. <laughs>